What's up everyone, my name's Al from Games Group, and today we're going to be taking a look at Cowboy Bebop. Now Cowboy Bebop now obviously has a live action series on Netflix, which let's face it, has been cancelled after season one, so it's not fantastic. Now obviously the actual anime itself is really, really decent, and that's what this homebrew is based on. The Dreamcast homebrew, Cowboy Bebop, it's probably not what you're expecting. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is it. This is Cowboy Bebop, developed by Nova32 for the Sega Dreamcast. Now, straight off the bat, I actually think the menus don't look too bad. They look very reminiscent of a lot of the Beats of the Rage titles. This might even be done with the Beats of Rage engine. I'm not entirely sure. But hey, it opens up well. It does start. It's basically giving you a bit of a story. And then we're kind of thrown into almost what feels to me like a bit of a generic shooter. Yeah, listen to the music a sec. Yes, I can't say that soundtrack's going to win any awards anytime soon. Now, the game, like I said, is very much almost... It's a generic shooter. I mean, you got to remember, the game essentially is you're meant to be taking on so Spike and his friends to stop the evil plans of the Dragon Clan, a fun Battle of Spaceships game set in the famous Cowboy Bebop series. Now, that's the synopsis on the back of the actual case. Now, do forgive me here, everyone. I can't say this is the best shmup I've ever played today. In fact, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say possibly the worst. To the point that the object's actually falling out of the sky doesn't actually matter if they hit you. That you literally, they will go through you. All you have to do is kind of line up trajectories or I should say gunfire, to actually shoot them out of the sky. Now, bearing in mind, there's also a delay when you do that as well, so you kind of actually are really shooting in the dark. I mean, yeah, apart from that, the movement's pretty responsive, but there's no real sort of... There's no change in background here on the first level. I mean, all the levels, they literally have a single image, essentially, scrolling past in the background. Again, you will run out of, you know, missiles, but you can collect those pretty damn simply to the point where as soon as you run out, more will just appear. Yes, the second level does actually have enemies against you, and it actually is a bit more of a challenge because on the second level, you can actually get hit by the enemy. That's right, that does actually happen. So here, I literally got to the point where I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I literally just randomly firing bullets at things that can't even hit me? It felt like there was not really much of what you could even call a game to it. Like I said though, level 2, yeah I guess, you could kind of put it as a level. I mean I literally only played a couple levels here and I was... Uh, hmm. I mean, I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to homebrews, and unfortunately, I wouldn't say this is one of the best. Now, do not get me wrong, I've never created a game on the Sega Dreamcast, so really, who am I to talk? So I do get that point of view, but looking at it from a review stance, there really isn't much of a game here. It really is a shame, and I'm going to leave it on that, because this breaks my heart. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Ah, oh, Christ. And I'll see you all soon.